Because we're live, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Wrestling with Trivia, King of Wrestling with Trivia 2020 Finals. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see behind me, in fact, let's pull this big mammer jammer up. We started here with 16 competitors. We are narrowed down to two as you can see on the, on the right here. Oh, what a tournament it's been. I'm your host, Jordan Pierce. I'm joined here by my co-host today, Wills. How you doing, Wills? Hello. Introducing first, all the way from across the pond, he's had quite a tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Kevin, he's defeated Michael Turner. He defeated Josh Johnson, and he even defeated my co-host, Wills, to get to the finals here. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and the only, Kevin B. Hi. <laughs> Always with their passionate intros there, Kevin. I love it. And his opponent. This man also had quite a quite a tournament wins to get here. He defeated Wick Reaver in the first round. Ruby Fire. And then some called the upset of the year. They defeated me to get here to the finals. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan McCormick. Ryan, how are you? I am very excited to lose myself in the world of professional wrestling and forget about the actual real world that is happening right now. So I'm very excited to be here. Real world? What world? Uh, exactly. Know. Exactly. All I know is the trivias. Uh, all right, gentlemen. It's pretty much the same idea as always. I figure because it's the finale, uh, let's throw in 25 questions instead of 20 just to really get that real winner here. Uh, so Wills has 12, I have 13. Why one more for me? Because I'm greedy. So let's start it off. I'm gonna answer, I'm gonna ask you the first 10. Uh, my first question for you, fine gentlemen, is what was the last WrestleMania to have an attendance of less than 20,000? Now, don't say this year. Don't be smart. We know this year had zero. <laughs> so before this year, what was the last WrestleMania to have an attendance? Of less than twenty thousand. Both men pondering here in the opening round. This could set the pace of what is to come. Just for fun, obviously don't say it. Do you know, Wills? You got an idea? I think so. All right. Can I say it after they do? Uh, sure. No points, though, <laughs> for you. You cannot win. Me and you cannot win anymore. I'll text it to you. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm, I'm in, but... Kev's in with... A passion of confidence. Uh. <laughs> okay, I'm in. Hey, you did message me. <laughs> all right, uh, all right. Let's go with Kevin B first. Kevin, what you got? Uh, twenty WrestleMania twenty. Uh, Ryan, what you got? Uh, I went with uh, WrestleMania 2000, WrestleMania 16. Uh, uh, Kevin, you're a couple years off. It's actually 22. 22 did not have that many, about 17 if I last I looked up. Uh, yeah, 20 comes to mind because it's MSG, MSG small. But yeah, even okay. 22, for whatever reason, <laughs> they went to a slightly smaller place as well. Uh, question number two, that's nil-nil so far. Question number two, we're going to the land of all elite wrestling. Uh, um, how many years older... Is Matt Jackson compared to Nick Jackson? And Will's also had that last one wrong, just, just so you guys feel better. <laughs> what did he say? Uh, he agreed with you, Kevin, kidding. actually. He went, he, uh -huh. went with he went with the um, MSG show, which is probably what I would have guessed, too. Where were they, 22? I don't know. I just know that's the answer. I think that one was in Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. How many years older is Matt compared to Nick? Is that so? Yeah, Matt to Nick. 
Maybe we should. I'll throw a dart at my board behind us and see what it gets. <laughs> Um, uh, they were in the uh, Rosemont, Illinois, and yeah, they they just threw a little over seventeen uh, thousand. Yeah, they were in Chicago. I mean, I've made a guess. Yes, I have. I I, I have a guess as well. John Cena defeating Triple H. All right, Ryan, what you got this time, bud? Uh, I went with two years. Two years, Kevin. What you got? I went with four years. Oh, Kevin gets the first point on the board. It was four years, actually. There's a four-year difference. I was um, three months off, but four years uh, for Matt and Nick. Number three here. It's a little bit of a mix of AEW and WWE. What current AEW wrestler played Harold in the anger management sessions featuring Daniel Bryan and Kane? Oh, everyone I mean, including the wheels is in. Kevin, what you got? <laughs> uh, Scorpio Sky. Ryan? I also said Scorpio Sky. Yes, indeed. Good old SCU. Scorpio Sky play Herald. Quick answers there. This one, actually, technically it's from both of us that I stole it from wheels. Who were the three members of the female stable PMS in the WWF? I also know this one. I know you know it. <laughs> this is one of your questions. <laughs> in. Kev's in. A little bit of a smirk, too. Could be telling. Because he has one point in the lead. Still very think, early, though. I think the fact that Ryan started writing right away and he's still writing means he probably knows as well. It's my I don't suspicion. know. If he's still writing, I... he's thinking. I actually changed one of my answers, so I'm not. I'm very not confident right now in uh, in what I went with. Looking for three names here. Three names. Don't give me four. Give me three. <laughs> Could you repeat the full question again, just in case? Sure. <laughs> Who are the three members of the female stable PMS and the WWF? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm wrong, but I have I have a, a somewhat of a guess. Well, we will find out, Kev. What you got? Uh, Terry Runnels, Jacqueline, and Ryan Shamrock. Ryan. I had uh, Marlena, uh, Jacqueline, and for some reason I thought Sean Stasiak was involved in that somehow. Is me. To an extent he was, but I was asking for the female. I do say female. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I thought, but I, that's all I could come up with. That's why uh, I asked okay, for so the question yes. again. <laughs> and, and, and technically, depending on how much of a jerk I would be, I could fight you on the Marlena part. Right, right. But it doesn't matter because I was looking for – Kevin got it spot on. I was looking for Terry Runnels, Jacqueline, and Ryan Shamrock. Ryan Shamrock. And, Ryan. And, another Ryan. Why would Ryan remember Ryan? That's yeah, right. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm Ryan Shamrock watching this somewhere going, someone remembered me. Thank you, Kevin. She married to someone now. I can't remember who, though. Uh, it's Val Venus? No, I don't know. <laughs> no, she mar she's married to another wrestler now. I can't remember who, though. Uh, Edge cheated on her, no? Or who, who was that it? <laughs> no, the, genuinely, in the real world, she's married to All someone. Right. But I can't... <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll Google it while we, while we look up. Number five. Who ended Samoa Joe's reign as a Ring of Honor World champion. Now, I don't see. I don't see Ryan Shamrock being married anyone. Anyway. Says so she married someone named Marcelo De La Grasso. 
uh, I'm, I'm wrong then. <laughs> I know she dated Ken Shamrock. Weird. I knew she had, yeah, yeah, that was weird. I remember that. Uh, it happens though. I was in a play with my crush, and when she played my sister, it happens sometimes, man. <laughs> uh, do we have answers, gents? Yeah. Yeah, I got a guess. Okay, sorry. I was looking at Ryan Shamrock biography. Uh, <laughs> okay, Ryan, what you got, Ryan? Uh, I went with Nigel McGuinness. Nigel McGuinness. Uh, what you got, Kev? I went with Austin Aries. I'm fairly confident. Uh, it was indeed double A Austin Aries. Can we get another point? Number six. Who ended Sable's only run as WWF Women's Champion? I think I know. I think I know, but I'm I'm I can't remember the match. <laughs> uh And Wills is wrong. <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh, who did he put? <laughs> ah, he, <laughs> man. Uh, he put Tugboat. I don't think my answer was women's champion. That's my problem I'm having. <laughs> mm. that, that would, that would, uh... <laughs> I, f- I feel like she beat Sable for the belt, but I don't think she ever held the belt, which is... <laughs> Sounds like a fever dream. Yeah. I dreamt about Sable, too. <laughs> Could you think about Sable in your dreams, Wheels? <laughs> Bravo I feel like I'd be you. I'd just be better crossing this out and just putting someone I knew as women's champion. That's probably a better idea. I don't know. It's a tough one, man. That, that is your call. Oh. If it makes you if it makes you feel any better, Kevin, I've changed my answer three times. So I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm not confident at all. It'll make me feel better if you've had the right answer and crossed it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sinister part of me. <laughs> right. I understand. No, I'm going I'm sticking with what I've got. All right, single with God Ryan, you set, you locked. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I'm good. Kevin, what did you end up going with? Uh, Tori. What did you end up going with, Ryan? I went with Stephanie McMahon. Uh, mm-hmm. Wills also said Stephanie. I was looking for actually uh, Stone Cold's ex-wife, Deborah. Oh, wow. Deborah, of all people, yeah. ended stable oh, I forgot, one I, I, and I, only run. I forgot she was ever champion, so that wouldn't have yeah. even been a I did, case. too. That's why I thought maybe you were thinking Deborah, because I was like, oh, yeah, Deborah had a run with the title. I, I was thinking of Tori, because I remember her being in that, like, Spray bodysuit, but oh, she, like obviously, a cat. she obviously didn't win, yeah, like a cat, yeah. yeah that is the only thing that comes to mind for Tori. Yeah. Uh, brief DX run, uh, number seven, one of my favorite categories now, land of movies, movies. Uh, no, no, that's the next question. I lied. Number seven has nothing to do with movies. Who was a special oh, guest referee <laughs> during the main event of Hell in a Cell 2013? I was jumping a question. Special guest ref, main event, Hell in a Cell, 2013. Was it Tim White? <gasps> That's not Tim funny, White. Too soon. I'm booing you out of here. Uh, see, first I have to think of who was in the match. <laughs> Then I have to try and remember. I didn't blink for that reason. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> to make it a little trickier. No. 
All right, Jess, looks like we're locked in. Yeah. Ryan, who's that special uh, guest? Ref? I said Shawn Michaels. Greatest of all time. Kev? I, I put Mick Foley. Uh, I was going to say, one. I love him as well, but Ryan picks up the point this time. Looking for HBK for Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton. Uh, Shawn Michaels, did, special guest or referee. Did he randomly attack Daniel Bryan as well? I believe so, yes. Yes. Yeah, and then nothing ever came of it. Exactly. Nothing yeah. at all. Teases yeah. all about a, maybe an upcoming match. Totally didn't happen. Yeah, I remember. Right. Now, this time we do go into the land of movies, as I am here at question number eight. Who appears alongside my future wife, Holly Berry, in the movie The Call? Hmm. <laughs> Who yeah, appears in this movie? Holly Berry in the movie The Call. I've got uh, <laughs> I've got a wrong answer, but because it came to me, I'm gonna go, oh that could be that could be it could have come from above. <clears throat> Thank you, Tom Cruise. Ryan, are you also <laughs> locked in? Yeah, I'm good. What you got, Kev? <laughs> I went with Ryback. Don't know where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see that movie. Uh, Ryan? Uh, I said David Otunga. Oh, and Ryan is inching that gap and pulling the lead away from Kevin. It is indeed Mr. Otunga. David Otunga. Number nine, in the land of television, who guest starred on multiple episodes of Boy Meets World as one of the bully's father. I know. All right, let's see. Uh, Ryan, what you got? I said Vader. What you got, Kev? Vader. Yes, indeed. You both pull it out. Vader, one of my favorite guest stars as a kid. Uh, Jake Roberts, Mankind, also appear in, in other episodes. Number 10, I will name a 2018 pay-per-view, or I won't name the pay-per-view, you have to guess the pay-per-view, via these four matches. What 2018 pay-per-view featured John Cena and Bobby Lashley versus Kevin Owens and Elias, AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe, Buddy Murphy, back when he had the name Buddy, versus Cedric Alexander, and Triple H. Versus Undertaker. Can you repeat the matches? Absolutely. 2018. 2018 Absolutely. Yeah. This is a 2018 pay per view. It was on the network and it featured matches such as John Cena and Bobby Lashley teaming up against Elias and Kevin Owens, AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe. Buddy Murphy versus Cedric Alexander and Triple H versus me and Mark Calloway. Was he using that gimmick? <laughs> yeah, it was really weird paper. <laughs> uh, open it. Uh... I'm good. Yeah, it's one of two. <laughs> yeah, I had the same issue trying to figure out which one, so I got a fifty percent chance. Uh, uh, yeah, well, we're probably going with the same funny. two. That was funny. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think it's funny when you when we went the opposite. Let's see, Kevin, what you go with? I think it was Super Showdown. And you went with Ryan. I agree with Kevin. I said Super Showdown. It was well, Super Showdown. You guys, no, no, no. Crown Jewel was my other. Yeah, that was what I was thinking too. It was the Triple H um, Undertaker one. I was like, oh, it's definitely Saudi Arabia then. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That is uh, I'm not mentioning it, but I usually mention the main event. So 
I'm going to fit in there for you. Uh, all right. In this case, now we are turning it over to my tag team partner. Uh, Wheels, extend your hand. And hot tag. Question 11 through 22 goes through to Wheels. Okay, number 11. At, Summer, at Survivor Series 1989, Bad News Brown replaced whom as part of the Enforcers led by Big Boss Man. In oh, Kev's in. Oh, I thought this one was a toughie. All right, Kev, what you got? I, th I think it was a cane. What you got, Ryan? Uh, I went with Outlaw Ron Bass. Oh, Kev pulls it out. It was Kevin? a cane. Right now we're at seven five, right? Yes, indeed. Okay. Number twelve. When Ron Simmons debuted for the WWF in nineteen ninety six, what name did he go by? I need first and last. What you got, Ryan? Said Farouk Assad. Kev? I also have Farouk Assad. Both got with it. With more letters in. <laughs> <laughs> You're both good. We won't be picky on that. Good. You took I, don't even know. I actually don't even know who's right, to be honest with you. <laughs> I have to double check that. Number 13. Who managed him for a short time as Baru Kassad? Okay. All right, Kevin. Uh, Sonny. Ryan. Sonny. Yep. Okay, number 14. What name did Damian Sandow go by in the WWE in his tag team with Casey James in 2006? Okay. Ryan? I think it was Idle Stevens. Kevin? That's what I have as well. Yep. Oh. Okay. Number 15. When they were a tag team, they were managed by who? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Who managed Idol and Casey? Yeah, I was like, when who? Who? What? what? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Kevin. Michelle McCool. Ryan? Michelle McCool. Yep. Number 16. What was the first movie re released by the by WWE Films in 2003? Hmm. In what year? 2003. Yes. 
Do you know, I had it between two and now I've got it between three. I thought something else that it might be. I'm between two, too, and now I'm starting to second guess my, my choice here, but I think I'm going to stick with it. Uh, okay, I'm going with... Yeah, I've gone with one. I don't know if I spelled it right. <laughs> you, you good, Ryan? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, Kevin? Uh, the Condemned. I, I, I forgot about The Condemned. I went with See No Evil. Oh, well, my, that was one of my three, and the other one was The Marine. Yeah, it was, my, was, like, I was between The Marine, yeah. It was, in fact, The Rundown. Oh. oh. Wow, I forgot yeah, all about run, that one. The first two uh, are the rock movies. It's a rundown and Walking Tall are technically the first two that were helped co-produced by WWE film slash studios. The, the, yes. the rundown wasn't called the rundown in the UK. I'll have you know. Uh, well, you didn't put Welcome to the Jungle either, did you, Ryan? <laughs> Kevin? Well, uh, I wasn't expecting you to know it just that quick. <laughs> uh, uh, don't question it me. It was called The Condemned in the UK, actually. <laughs> uh, and, and also, too, I, and as a side note, you did misspell Condemned. <laughs> I was, it didn't look right. It didn't feel right. <laughs> there's an N in there. I think you put two M's, there's an N. <laughs> so, Jordan, and I'm, I'm asking all my questions to... Then you'll go back to yours. Yeah, yeah, F finish, finish your 12, yeah. Okay. What was the first WWE film? This is number 17, by the way. What was the first WWE film production not to feature a WWE superstar? No wrestlers in this movie. I'm just going to have to make up a name for a film because I don't think I know any films. <laughs> I, I struggle to know the names of the ones with wrestlers in, let alone many without. <laughs> By the way, where's what's your, what's your score, Jordan? I got 11 to 9. Yeah, that is indeed correct. These two have been uh, about a two point difference for a while here. They're just they're right on each other's heels. Well, here's his, here's his chance because I'm well, <laughs> I'm ninety nine percent sure I'm wrong because <laughs> I I've just made up some words and stuck them next to each other. Cruel. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to do that. I can't even think of a movie without everyone. I think of uh, there's a wrestler in it somehow. I yeah, just keep going. At least. I can think of two that don't have wrestlers in them. I, do I in fact, did not like this movie. I do and remember I sometimes was... watching films and it flashes up at the start and you go, oh. <laughs> so, but what was that? What was I watching? Who knows? And I thought it was just okay. I, I don't have anything. I got nothing. Kevin, still oh, thinking? No, just my mine's just over the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. I almost put over the fact, fence and then realized that was a real film. <laughs> it was in fact the day, the day, D A Y. The day wow. featuring Dominic Monahan from Lord of the Rings. Oh. Okay, back to wrestling. Before oh. I get wrestling, Don Callis also worked for the WWF and ECW. Name his two on-screen names in both promotions. So we're looking for two names. 
one WWF and one ECW. Oh, I've gone really orange. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For a moment, I've gone Good. back now. It's fine. I'm, I'm in. Ryan, you in? Yep. Okay, Kevin? The jackal in WWF and ECW is Cyrus the virus. Ryan? I had the jackal and Cyrus. Yep, both get it. What is but this is number nineteen, by the way. What is Bobby Lashley's current version of the full Nelson called that he uses as a finisher? Oh god. Uh, I don't like I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> um Nicht wieder sehen werden, denn euch und uns eint eines. We love wrestling. Viel Spaß. Wonder what that was. <laughs> It was a uh, We Love Wrestling in German. I'm watching a WXW show. Okay. It's on the network. I think you froze. I think you froze. Jordan. Can't see me? Now wheels froze on mine. Oh, no, Kevin's frozen. No, 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 he's not. I was, was going to say, wheels is frozen on mine. Everyone else is okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if wheels is joking or not, but if he's joking, he's doing a really yeah. good job. Nah, yeah. I, I, for a second, I was giving him credit, but now, now I'm pretty sure we, he's just frozen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do here. Uh, <laughs> Paul. All right, let's pick up where we left off. We're talking about Bobby Lashley and his version of the full Nelson. Uh, Ryan, what you got? Uh, I said the Dominator. Kev? I think it's called the Hurt Lock. Kevin has it. Because they're in the Hurt Lock. Yeah. Er. I knew it had an R at the end. I, I only heard that yesterday, I think, or this morning, possibly, so... Yeah, I got it from Raw. I watched yeah. it. I, I was watching the, re the results of Raw and someone yeah. said it. So, yeah. All right. Hopefully I don't freeze again. All right, number 20. Before Randy Orton became the youngest WWE champion at the age of 24, what superstar... Became the youngest at 25. Or it was 23, by the way. I looked it up. It was 24. Okay, I know. You wrote 23 when you sent me the question. I know, but <laughs> I had to change it. <laughs> so it was who's the young, what's the youngest champion before Randy Orton became the youngest champion? Yes. Okay. I answered this so quickly, I'm now starting to doubt myself. <laughs> If Ryan had been equally quick, I'd have been confident. But now that he's <laughs> thinking, I'm no, like... I'm thinking, I'm pondering. Oh, should I have thought more? <laughs> oh. I saw that. <laughs>
I got a guess. I'm pretty sure I'm not right, but I got a guess. Well, I was confident, and now I'm much less confident. <laughs> Ryan? Uh, I went with The Rock. Kevin? I went with Brock Lesnar. Kevin has it. Yeah, of course. Oh, God, thank God for that. I, I forgot so all quickly. about Brock. Oh. Ryan, quickly put a B in front of your answer. <laughs> the Brock. The Brock. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, number 21. As of WWE Hell in Cell 2020, how many Hell in Cell matches has Randy Orton competed in? Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Now, it's it's whether I go with the number I remember him being in or whether I go, oh, well, I've forgotten some and add them on. <laughs> oh. They also said this on TV. That's how I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, be careful because sometimes they're not right. <laughs> Make sure you fact check. <laughs> I did fact check and wrote down this one. Every once in a while, they do like just straight up say lies. <laughs> or just, they're just wrong. I right, went on you, Kev. Um, yeah, scribbling. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I've got a number, um, based on how many I can remember, and I'm assuming I've forgotten some. Yeah, that, that was my strategy too. I've, yeah. Do you want my answer? Yeah, Kevin, go ahead. I went with, with nine. <laughs> Ryan? I went with eight. Ryan has it. Oh. <laughs> I wrote down six, and I thought, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have gone with my own. Uh, I was going to put two more as well. All right, my last one, number 22. How many did Randy Orton win in the Hell in Cell? Oh, man. I'm going to go through my previous list. Um, you at least have the hint that it's over or under eight. <laughs> <laughs> Or under, under or exact, they're not over. Couldn't be over. That'd be weird. 
I'm going to go with nine again. Yeah. He's so good. <laughs> oh, I just thought of a seventh. <laughs> just thought of another match. So I wrote it down. Um, Okay. You guys both then? Yeah. Kevin? I went with six. I went with four. Oh, right in between it was five. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so he beat he beat Seamus, Jeff Hardy, Cena, Drew, and Daniel Bryan. Oh uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's based on my own working out that it should have been five that I wrote down <laughs> and we're back, going back to Jordan extend your hand Will hot tag alright question number 23 gents we're so close to the end here it could still be anyone's game wait does that make sense yeah it could be <laughs> I don't know what the score I've, I've actually lost track of the score so <laughs> don't tell them Will's <laughs> Number 23, what titles were on the line when the Young Bucks faced the Lucha Bros at All Out 2019? The Elite, the Elite, the Elite, the Elite. This song is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Annoyingly awesome. <laughs> All right, gents, are we in? Yep. Yes. Mr. McCormick, what do you make have it? I said the uh, AAA tag team titles. And Mr. Kev to the B to 80. It was indeed the AAA Ooh. tag team championships of is it the world. I don't know if it would count. Number 24, we both had that one correct. Number 24, what recent AEW wrestler defeated Paige on the third episode of NXT in the brand's first ever women's match? Can you give that to me one more time? Uh, absolutely. What recent AEW wrestler defeated Paige on the third episode of NXT, and by that I mean the full sale days, not the not the season days, in the brand's first ever women's match. So the first two episodes had no women's matches. This was the first women's match on episode three. It took up three episodes. Look how far we've come. I don't know this one. Uh -huh. I don't know it because I should know. I should know. I remember it. I remember the match. It's coming to me. I'm going to stop talking because I'll say the answer. It's all coming back to me now. That's your night, Twain song. No, Celine Dion. Oh. Yeah, I think it's Celine. It was uh, written by Meatloaf, actually. So it's a Meatloaf song, but uh, <laughs> Shania Twain sung it first, and then uh, Meatloaf has sung it more recently. But uh -huh. anyway, I was trying to think of an answer, and now I've <laughs> forgotten the question. <laughs> Meatloaf co-star with Brad Pitt in what 1999 film? Oh, I know that. <laughs> Fight Club. <laughs> But you're not allowed to talk about it, so don't put it out. <laughs> oh, yes. <sighs> Do we want her WWE name? Or, if you, I uh, will take either name. I will take her AEW name or her I, WWE name. As no, long no, as you no, have I, the right person. I won't be giving you her WWE name. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do think Kevin might have it then. That hint, show me he might have it. 
Yes. Brian, you in or are you still thinking? I'm still thinking. Give me one more minute here. Nothing better than when you think really hard and then suddenly you go, <gasps> Aha, light bulb. It was her. Oh, yeah, she's in AEW. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, it looks she... like a light bulb's uh, up there. <laughs> Right now, Ryan reminds me of the guy from Mall Rats. Everyone sees the sailboat but him. <laughs> I feel that way. <laughs> like, yeah, keep rubbing it in, Kevin. How you got it, you bastard. <laughs> oh, the wheels, you still don't have it, though, do you? Nah, and I watched, I remember watching the match, too. I just forgot. You remember the episode three? <laughs> yeah. Because I went back on the network and watched it. Oh. Uh, I, I remember it. I remember it because the pushed page, uh, like, really soon afterwards. And I was like, why did she lose to this basic nobody in the... <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, at the time, they probably had different plans. And then uh, plans yeah. quickly changed. I have a guess. All right. We got guesses in. Answers are locked. Kevin, put that drink down to show me what you got. Uh, I went with Ivelisse Velez. What what you what you got, Ryan? I said Serena D, but I was between her and Ivelisse, and I went with clearly the wrong answer. Damn it! <laughs> yes, looking for Ivelisse, who in NXT was known as Sophia Cortez. Sophia Cortez defeated Paige. See, and that's what threw me off is because I I didn't realize she had a different name in NXT. So I was gonna say yeah. Ivelisse, and when you guys kept saying that, I was like, oh, I don't think it's her then. Oh man! Oh, <laughs> Dave's not a bad guess though. I mean, if if there's anyone that could have maybe made sense for that time frame, right. Dave, Dave was pretty good. Because I figured AEW narrows it down. Number twenty-five. How could it end any way but this? It's a tugboat question. When tugboat first debuted in the WWF, he had a last name. What was it? This question is worth 75 points. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've got two in my head, and I don't know. <laughs> uh. It helps. I had, I had no idea he had her last name, so. I didn't either. I, I purposely wanted to do a tugboat question and then found this out <laughs> while I was looking up tugboat. I now like, oh, we need to get question. Alan on here so he can say tugboat. <laughs> and he would finally have one point. <laughs> on with one of my two. I'm going to write the other one on the other side and then when I'm wrong, I'll flip it over. <laughs> hey, hey, you <laughs> cheeky bastard. Uh, Ryan, you were pretty quick. What you got? Uh, I said tugboat Thomas and congrats, Kevin. I'm, I'm uh, good, Thomas. Yes, yes, indeed. It actually was Thomas. Tugboat Thomas. You can even find uh, if you Google or YouTube it. You can find a Tugboat Thomas promo. Um, fantastic match here. Uh, Ryan was eking up 13 points in the end, but towards the end, uh, Kevin got all the way up to 17 today. Well, that's better than 12. It is. Well, we also, you also had five more questions. Keep that in mind. Uh, but uh, a fantastic matchup, guys. There was a reason you two were in the finals. You defeated both me and my partner, uh, Wheels, uh, to get here. It, you, you were worthy challengers. That's the reason why you're here. Ryan, fantastic game. Any parting Thank words? Uh, silver is still a wonderful trophy. Well, listen, I'm just happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Con Kevin, congratulations. I hope I uh, get a rematch down the road sometime. Absolutely. We'll definitely have to have a rematch between you two as well. Kevin, just like the King of the Ring or the Royal Rumble, uh, you are now in line for Dexter Beckett's heavyweight championship of the Triple yeah. World. <laughs> uh, yeah, well uh, well done to Ryan to get to the final. Uh, it was tough. <laughs> yes. um, I, I assume my crown will be in the post. Yes. It's in the <laughs> uh, it's lost. Oops. I mean, it's, a long, it's got a long way to come, so... Yeah. Give it a 12 to uh, 1,400 business days. And right, okay, okay. 
that'll get back to you. <laughs> and uh, make sure to email me all your strong uh, suits and trivia, Kevin, so we can get the title off of Dexter. Uh, <laughs> yes. yes. Royal, R- Royal Rumble 1993. I'm really good at that. That was my first. <laughs> Whatever the last three shows that you saw, <laughs> questions from those. All right. Wills, how about you? Any parting words from you, my co host? I had fun. questions. Absolutely. I always like hosting, so. Absolutely, absolutely. Good question from Wheels. Great competitive matchup between Ryan and Kevin here, two of the best in the WT League. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this tournament, this match. We'll be back. We'll have some more fun throughout the year and in 2021. We'll be back again. Uh, maybe Ryan will get his win next year. You'll find out. Uh, or maybe I'll get my revenge. Thanks for watching WWT Wrestling Wood Trivia. JPO, Wheels, Ryan, Kevin. We out.